Good morning. Welcome to Crochet with Nana Rosanna. I'm Rosanna. Today is Saturday, December 3rd, I believe. Yes. And I am doing my whip weekend and it's number 34. And I also have a little yarn haul in here too. I thought I'd try and combine it since I'm trying to do Vlogmas and creators that put out videos every day. I don't know how you do it. Like I find myself sitting in front of the computer for hours almost every day and nothing else is getting done. But I'm enjoying it. I like it. It's a lot of work and congratulations to all you uh, YouTubers out there that put out something every day because it's a lot of work. I didn't realize doing one a week or two a week is fun for me and I like it. Vlogmas, I'm having a fun time doing it. But it is a lot of work, but um, I will continue to do it. I will probably, by the end of the month, be doing two or three days together because I have to go in for my surgery. So starting with that, so I have been sick Monday, Tuesday. I was sick. I was sick on Wednesday, but I had to go to the eye clinic and they ran a whole bunch of tests and it took forever to do it. And then after that, I went... Uh, did a little bit of Christmas shopping. And on Thursday, my mom had to go into the hospital. No, for tests. She was doing some tests and her um, cardiologist works out of the hospital. So we spent a good six hours in the hospital for her, you know, waiting for one test to another. And then we finally got to see the cardiologist and uh, didn't get home till five. So I had her come over here. We had dinner and then I took her home later on in the evening. So mom and I had a great time. Like we just sat there and talked and I knit it. And um, it was a good time. It's just a long process. And my poor mom, you know, she um, has been living with cancer for 15 years and has gone through five rounds of chemo. And she's not a big lady. She's um, a typical Italian maybe five foot two and I'm five foot nine. My brothers are over six feet. So I don't know what happened there because my dad was only five foot eight. <laughs> so um, she's a tough cookie, I tell you. I don't know if I could do what she's gone through in the last few years. She had a pacemaker put in. They punctured her lungs so she had to stay in the hospital. But my mom's a fighter and I'm so happy. She just turned 80 and um, we're enjoying our time together still. So I am very lucky to still have my mother around. So I spent the day with mom. And then uh, yesterday I felt awful. Still not over my cold. I'm sounding better though. The th I've been uh, sucking on some lozenges. So that's helping my throat out. And um, this weekend... My husband and I plan to do nothing. I need to recover. So yesterday I did a video and then I um, basically sat on the couch and finished uh, one of my projects. So let's get into the, what I'm doing. So my whips this week are, since I was at the eye doctor's, I didn't want to bring too much yarn and I was there for a good half the day. So I started another hat. So there's the hat I'm doing right now. It's blowing it out a bit. It's just a little darker than that. And I just pulled it out. Oh, shoot. Okay, I'm going to put it down very carefully. I am using um, Impeccable. And I believe it was a, a, a clearance yarn. And the color was Amethyst. And it has purples and pinks and um, a pale pink. So I'm going to put this away over here very carefully because I pulled out a few stitches. But I can get them back on the needle. I... My progress keepers or my knitting needle keepers are in the side pocket here. This bag I actually got on clearance from Michael's for $1.99. It's plastic lined, but it's a cute little uh, bag that I can uh, put my knitting items in. So it was a clearance, of course. I am a very frugal shopper. I don't usually buy anything. You know, now that I say that, <laughs> not always. <laughs> And so the next project I'm working on is my daughter's basket. I did get a few more rows done. It's kind of oblong right now because of the yarn in it. But um, I did double it in height. 
and I've got this much of the ball left and I've got another one. So I'm hoping to get it, oh, at least nine to 12 inches high. So I've been working on that and I like the way it's turning out. I like that the, um, the gray is variegated with the uh, black. So it uh, changes. So it's adding some lovely stripes. So that's what I'm doing with that. And like I say, um, using a five millimeter hook and I'm using a bulky six and a worsted weight and my arms get so tired. So I can only do two or three rows or rounds every day, or I have to break it up. But um, I was trying to get something else done. So not much of this is done. I'm hoping to have this done by next week because I've got so much on my plate to do right now. So that's another whip. And then I am um, picking up the needles again. I am making a washcloth and I've learned how to do, I don't know, it's a little slip stitch. I don't know if you can see it. I'll add a picture to it. But, but um, it's a yarn, basically yarn over and it leaves like a little gap at the end to give you a nice border. And this is uh, on the diagonal. So I'm learning how to do that. So hopefully I, I thought, wow, if I can do this with cotton yarn, I could probably just keep increasing, increasing instead of starting to decrease and make a lovely shawl. So practice makes perfect. And the cotton's hard to work with because it's very splitty. The uh, needles are very pointed. I do like them. I can't remember uh, what brand they are. Oh, they're clovers and they're wooden. And I was told starting to knit use wood so you don't um, drop your stitches as much. So making washcloths and I'm making for um, all the kids' houses. So we've got between my husband and I, we have four kids. So I'm making pot holders and scrubbies and dishcloths for the kids for Christmas. They've gotten their hats and their scarves and their mittens and everything. So that's what I'm doing for the kids this year for Christmas on my makes. So that was my dishcloth. And what else have I got that I'm on? I am doing my diamond painting, of course, and I will show that on Vlogmas. And I'm also doing a paint by number, but it's kind of, kind of getting put to the side. But that's how much I've gotten done so far. I hope you can see it because I can't see the screen right now. So I do love my uh, paint by numbers. It's uh, very enjoyable and relaxing. Along with my diamond painting, which is very enjoyable and relaxing too. And I do that because I'm a very early riser. Today I actually slept until 5.30. So that was wonderful. So I just sat and did some diamond painting and trying to catch up on everyone's videos. I am a day behind because of being out for two days in a row and I'm trying to catch up. I want to see everybody's makes. I love watching everybody's makes and I find I get so many great ideas from people's makes. So it's wonderful. And um, I will be starting now that I've finished one blanket, I will be starting two blankets. I will be doing the marquee challenge. And this month, oh, I forgot what it is. I will uh, put a picture in here, something to do with brides, I believe. So here's the picture. And um, colors I've chosen, I have chosen it. I'm going to start off with oh it's blown out but it's much darker it's an orange for the fires and oh no i'm going to start out with a little bit of yellow the color is actually good way back here and then the orange let me see if i can hold that and then these are all my uh, tangled yarns that i got from cambridge fibers and um I uh, untangle it and um, ball them all up. Then I'm going to go with a variegated color. And this is a tangled yarn also. And then I'm going to border it or keep going with the red heart and it's hunter green. So it is a very, very dark green. So I'm going to just do a continuous granny square. So that's the way it's going to happen. So I think that's good. It'll be quick and easy because Christmas is right around the corner and we're all going to be very busy. 
So hopefully I can get that done. I starting today actually, I am going to start to wash my um all my blankets that I've made for donation. And what I'll do is in Vlogmas, I'll put up like I'll probably have I can fit sorry. I can probably fit um four four or five uh lap gans in the washing machine at the same time. I like to give them you know, some of them been sitting around since January, so I'm gonna wash them and fold them all up and then um on my vlogmas I'll uh, show some of them so that's what I'm going to be doing there so like I said I have one more snowflake blanket to make and I will be making that for my daughter I'm not sure if I'll be able to get it done by Christmas but I'm hoping to and that's it for my whips let me show you what I purchased I was on Aberdeen Wolves company's website and um they uh, had some knitting needles on sale, so I grabbed a five millimeter and 16 inch because I mostly make hats and I can do two different hats at the same time if I want to now. So an extra of that. And I actually bought these because if you spend $100 or more, you get free shipping. And I was at like $94. So this put me over the top. So it was free shipping. And I think your shipping has gone up a few dollars. I think it was uh, $5 before. And now I think it's gone up to $8. But you know what? It's still a deal. And especially if you're in the USA, it's um, free shipping over $100. Or I think it's $8, uh, no matter how much you get from them. So... It's a fabulous deal if you're doing it but I did get some yarn I got some premier puzzle and it is a bulky five and it recommends a six millimeter uh, crochet hook and uh, six millimeter uh, knitting needles this color is called cryptic and I love it my favorite color as I can tell is blue and I um, I keep saying I'm going to make something for myself, but I'm hoping to uh, make a sweater. And um, how many yards are in here? I hope I have enough. There's 328 yards per ball of a bulky five. And I got four. So there's six, 12. There should be enough for me to be able to make a sweater for myself. And I think I'll probably start it between Christmas and New Year's. That would be a great project just to relax and... Um, do it. I'm not going to use a pattern. I'm just going to measure shoulder to shoulder and how many um, inches I want down. Just do and then two panels at the front and the sleeves. So I'm hoping I can do that. So that's one touch of yarn. And then one of my favorite YouTubers, and I know I shouldn't be saying this, but is uh, Carrie Penny, the uh, Happy Crafter Homemaker. And she gets tangled yarns in a pickle jar. Well, I don't need a pickle jar. So I just ordered the replacement for tangled yarns. And I got a whole bunch. And um, they're beautiful. And I thought I could knit a shawl with this. So I'm going to go more into detail on these on my vlog. And the last item I got. I'm so excited. This is my first hand dyed bougie yarn and it is beautiful the colors are a little bit more purple than blue as it's showing up i'll try and take a picture and insert it here if it works and um i just love it i have no idea what i'm going to do but um after seeing uh, Heather the Crochet Witch's hand dyed yarn and the two hanks that she got, I thought, you know what? I am going to spoil myself. So that's what I did. And as you know, I've been working part time, so I have a little bit of extra money. So that's awesome. So this is Tangled Poets. It's hand dyed. It's 8020 Super Wash Merino and Nylon. It's approximately 450 yards, 411 meters. And it just gives you um, your stitches, your stitch markers. So that's great. So yeah, I'm really excited about this. And like I said, I have no clue what I'm going to make. And it is a, I'm going to say a fingering weight. If you can see that. It's very tiny. But 
I love it. And every once in a while we have to spoil ourselves. So that's my little purchase. <coughs> Excuse me. From Aberdeen. I was very disappointed though. I put I placed this order uh second last week of October and it came yesterday. So I was a little disappointed in that. Sent some letters, some emails. Um, not nasty, but not pleasant either. So I finally got it. So I'm happy about that. And I can't complain about the prices. I believe the uh, puzzle here was on sale for $5 a skein. And for Canada, that's amazing. Okay. And my only completed project and my third in the series <laughs> is the snowflake blanket and that's it there and this one is in green and it's called the greens ivy and i use craft smart and for the uh, snowflakes i use pound of love so i'll insert a picture of it here uh, i find them very easy to do uh, not too many ends to weave in. I am um, actually stayed up a half hour later so I could finish weaving in all my ends last night. So that is my uh, completed item. <coughs> and that's the only finished item I have this week. But I've been busy and um, I'll be crocheting today for sure. But uh, I will also be putting up all my Christmas decorations. I usually do it December 1st, but um, I need my husband to haul the uh, the boxes upstairs for me. And I didn't want to have him do it after working during the day. So he's going to do that this morning when he gets up. It is, what time is it now? It is 7 o'clock in the morning. So I have a few hours to get this done and uploaded and put it uh, do another um, vlogmas video. So um, once I'm done that, he should be getting up. He usually gets up about 10, 30, 11 o'clock. So I don't mind at all. And that's what I'm doing. I'm putting up Christmas decorations and crocheting. And hopefully I can convince my husband to order in food tonight because then I don't have to cook. So that's what I'm up to this weekend. So I hope you have a wonderful whip weekend and I will see you soon. Bye for now.